Good morning and welcome to the Elevate Renatus team call. This is your host, Keely Austin. And as of right now, we've got 36 participants on the line. Make sure that you reach out to your team. We don't want any ICMs left behind. We've gone, we've kind of switched to Thursdays being focused on personal development and mindset, which is so important. I feel like that's just foundational in life in general and it really will help with your business and just all areas of life. So Wanda will be training us today and it's an honor to bring Wanda out this morning. A little bit of Wanda's background. She was born in Puerto Rico and Wanda earned two master's degrees in education despite many life challenges. And in her career, she succeeded in many ways only to an extent where she would hit a ceiling every time she attempted to reach higher. She spent most of her time trading hours for dollars, and I think a lot of us can relate with that if, we're, if we've ever worked in the W-2 world. On the side, Wanda was always looking for business opportunities, and that just shows that she has always had an entrepreneurial spirit. She never was able to accomplish much in the business attempts before Renatus. Three years ago is when Wanda found Renatus, and she has now exceeded her income goals in less time and in less effort. In her first eight months alone, she earned six figures and she has continued to do so each year after. That is just so inspiring to me. Wanda has now completed around 20 real estate transactions and she's built a large team of entrepreneurs which allows them to succeed as she has. Because of her choice to become a real estate investor, her future is now brighter and great things are to come in the years ahead. I'm excited to hear what Wanda has to share with us this morning, and it's really an honor to be able to learn from Wanda. Good morning, Wanda. Good morning, good morning from um, sunny Florida. <laughs> this is where I'm at today. So I, can you hear me okay? Yes, we can hear you just fine. Very well. Well, welcome everybody. And the reason why I'm in Florida is because um, I pretty much kind of in transition, I have in an apartment in, in Utah, but then I'm spending more, most of my time in Puerto Rico. And if you have heard the news, Puerto Rico is right now like a hamaca. It's just going back and forth with the earthquake and a lot of um, houses have been destroyed. And last Thursday, I left. So I'm in Florida now at my mom's house. Um, I probably fly back in on the 22nd next week or something. But uh, anyway, it's one of those things that is uncertain. It's, it's most of the two nights that I was there during the earthquake, I, I slept with my tennis shoes on <laughs> just in case I needed to start running. So we couldn't even sleep. So it's, it's uncertain because things that you can predict like a storm, you can predict the path, you know that it's coming and you know that where it's going. And you can, even during Maria, I wasn't there, but I was in communication with my family for the time being that I was able to. And the storm, you know, was coming and I can follow the track on the news and I knew that the eye was gonna leave sometime. But with the earthquake, you're just uncertain. You don't know what is going on and you don't know when it's gonna shake again. And you don't know if the walls in your, in your house are strong enough to stay standing. It's really, really hard. So that's why we need to always be prepared. And that makes me think, okay, how can we prepare in our business? How can we prepare in our business? Our business needs to be strong, has to have strong walls to keep it standing in any shaking moment. And the, the things that I have noticed is that most of the rich people, I'm not gonna say all, but most of the rich people that I've been following, they have routines. And that routine makes their business stronger because the business, especially in the marketing side, everything is within you. If, you go, you, if you're not in the attitude of going out and continue your business for the day, your, your walls are not strong enough to really um, meet the first person that you want to meet or be ready to 
see the people and tell the story and invite them for events. So in those walls, you need to start preparing. And the first day of the month, because it was January, um, the first call that we did for this year, we talk about habit that I didn't like to do goals because goals normally you leave them to by March and you're not doing it anymore. But we, if you create habits, which habits are those activities that you do over time for a period of time, they become habits. And study shows that if you um, start doing an activity for 15 days or more or 21 days, then you become it becomes a habit for you. So what I want to say is like, okay, I have given you the idea that you have to create habits, not goals. You can create your vision boards and everything, but the habits are more important and stronger for your business because those are things that you're going to change in your life. Those are things that you're going to incorporate. It's a lifestyle. It's going to be some totally different. It's not like a target. So you, in a goal, you just kind of, it's there. And if you don't meet the goal, you can reset the goal. But when you have targets and you have habits, it's focused. It's laser focused in the things that you want to complete. So basically, um, since last year, I started to really, really dig in deep, um, diving into um, personal development I have taken personal development, but this one is like very, very focused on my business. And I created a routine. I'm gonna share this because I'm like, okay, I'll give you the idea, but you can say, hey, Wanda, but what am I gonna do? Which routines I'm gonna do? So this is what um, I have done for the last year. You wake up and yeah, your body needs to release, so go to the bathroom. But then you drink water. And the reason is because it's like a car. Your body is like a car. You're going to fuel your car and you have to put gas on your car. So you're just going to put water and the water is going to start build, you know, kind of waking up your cells and you have to move. Most of the time you can move, you know, going to the gym, you can move up by walking and so on. Me at this age, my movement activity is really low. So I don't like to sweat but I do compromise myself to at least walk 35 minutes a day. And I, I walk. Or if I, don't, if I have meetings too early, then I just move. But make sure that your body starts moving just so your brain starts getting activated. Then um, at that point, because you activated your brain, you can sit down and write your inspired action. What are the things that you're going to do or your brain just brought up like an idea, a wonderful idea. Um, sometimes I get ideas of, um, let's, let me call such, this person. So you write it down, write down the things that comes to your mind during your movement period or during those moments of meditation. And then you're going to try to do it at the end of the day and complete those inspired actions for the day. Then write your manifest. What are the things that you believe? I believe I'm a great leader. So I believe that my, the, I, I need the people that are ready to receive my, my services and things like that. And then you're going to make sure that you get into reading, reading or audio books, something that is like your daily dose for inspiration and for um, instruction. In there, you can also include you, um, Renatus Education. Learn something. Every day, learn something, something different, whether it's from a book, whether it's from, a, um, from Renatus Education, something. But your brain needs to be on that mode of learning all the time. So that routine I have created in my life for the last year, pretty much. Because before then, I didn't really have a routine. But then recently, I have been taking other coaching systems, and they're helping us focus on four different areas. And I want to cover those for you. And those are, and, and they're very similar to Ron Williams' area. Um, and these ones are fitness, 
faith, family, and finances. So what I do on Sundays now, I started this year, and I want to share this with you, that I set up my, like a grid on a paper, and I said, oh, okay, what, are, what is my target for fitness this week? And like, it, like I said again, I'm not saying a goal, I said my target. I want to lose or I want to release um, one pound this week or two pounds. You just put your target for the week. Then in faith, do you want to read your scriptures? Do you want to meditate every day? Do you want to kind of take a walk outside nature every day? What do you want to do in faith? And this is not about religion. This is about your connection with a higher being, whether it's Buddha, Jesus Christ, God, the universe, whatever you want to believe, you connect with that being. And, you know, like I was telling my grandson the other day about this, and he's like, oh, I don't believe in anything. Okay, so pick a tree. <laughs> Just pick a tree, pick something, do something, but connect with something, okay? Um, so that's in, in terms of faith. Then family. Do something to connect with your family. And it's very interesting because sometimes we just go in our days, go around and, and do things and we get busy and we just go in and out of the house or and we say hi and bye, but we don't necessarily connect. And sometimes it's a matter of only five minutes. So recently what I'm doing is I send in like voice texts to my grandkids or to my um, girls and I said how much I love them or I send in a, um, a text to my mom or so, so on and so on. So you connect in a different level, not the same hi and bye every day. You just do something different. If you want to stick sticky notes in your house for your husband, for your uh, partner, whomever, just put a sticky note, something different. Be creative. And then in finances, then you set up your target. And we know the money-making activity. See the people, tell the story, build for events, and follow up. So you put those in there, and you target how many people I want to see this week. How many people I want to... If I see them, I'm normally going to establish a conversation. Obviously, I'm not going to say the story. So how many people I'm inviting to meetings or to events? How many people I'm going to be following up with? And write down their names. And you follow through that. So that set me up for the entire week that I know that by Monday, I'm going to start making those contacts. By Tuesday, I'm going to continue that follow-up and continue building that rapport until I get the people to the meeting and follow up. So that is how I'm organizing my, my week now, and it's been very, very productive for the last week and a half, big, two weeks and a half, because it's just making me more focused, very focused on the targets that I want to complete for the week. So I hope this is helping you um, I want to open up for some comments and questions because I know that um, we have people that probably over here that have routines, that have activities that you do. And I want you to open up the mic, um, get off of mute and tell me what is the routine that you are following, if you're following any. up of mute and tell me if you're following any routine and which one or if this is something new to you great morning wanda my name is sheena hi How sheena you? happy thursday hi um, one of my routines that i do is guided meditation so mm -hmm. i do guided meditation to make sure that my chakras are in balance uh, mm -hmm. before I get my day started. Very um, good. I me, do like those. Yes, yes, yes. It helps me immensely, um, especially when you are interacting with different people, uh, which, of course, is different personalities. 
um, and different communication styles. So it helps me to be more engaging and more interactive when I start off with my guided meditation because it keeps me in a positive mindset. So if I come across someone who is negative, it doesn't um, impact me the way that they're hoping it would. I just, you know, pop back off something positive to them to let them know, like, no, you're not going to tear me down. And mm -hmm. to, you know, continue my journey of having a blessed day. And then even when I'm presenting opportunities to someone, um, if they say no, I just look at it as a no for today, but not for tomorrow. This is very good. Very good, Tina. And I know I do that. I do meditation too. And I learned meditation recently. Because yes, I prayed and stuff like that. But meditation is deeper. It's something where your mind gets clear, where your mind just is at a different level and you can get more inspirations. Like, like your brain activates in a different way. So if you've never done meditation, Google, uh, Google it or go to YouTube and say meditation, even if it's five minutes meditation, and go and try it. It's just amazing. So thank you, Sheena, for sharing because that is one of the things that yes i have incorporated as well on this new um, framework that i'm working from from fitness faith and family and finances in my faith i have a time where i read my scriptures and someone but i do meditate and meditation to me now it means even more than the prayer i connect in a deeper level with my higher being so attempt those if you haven't done it i will encourage you to do so thank you china for sharing because that's very very important yeah thank anybody you. else you're welcome thank you and anybody else would like to share something or do you have find this value you find value in this information antonio you want to share i see your microphone is off mute Wanda, good morning. It's Sandra Leonard here in South Florida. So welcome to Florida. Hi, Sandra. How are you? Good. It's sunny and weather, the weather is perfect. Good. I know. Thank the Lord. Um, yeah. um, I listen to Darren Daly from Darren Hardy from Success huh. Magazine. It's a five-minute little educational, motivational, business-focused thing that he does. Monday through Friday, every day, it's free. Anybody can subscribe and it's really um, motivating and educational. So he, he's a, a very sharp guy and he really knows how to come off with a message that really be is beneficial. So I, I suggest everybody Google that and sign it up because it's the best five minutes of the morning you could spend. Darren Daly? Darren Daly. Getting mm -hmm. the Thank you. And yes, and there are so many um, inspiring messages out there that just find something. Yes, this is important as well. Find something that resonates with you, that activates your spirit to continue on in, with the day and make it a positive day because um, you don't need negativity in your life. You need to be Focus on the things that will make you to produce. So not in the consuming, you consume, but then produce. Consume and produce, consume and produce, and um, balance that. Thank you, Sandra. That's very good. I'm going to look it up. All right. So do you feel, okay, I have, let me see uh, if I have any questions here. Is my colleague going to be live stream? I don't think so. Um, uh, Amy, I don't think so. Yeah, okay. Be prepared for weather, the storm, yes. And Gina, uh, yeah, this is also, I wonder this is Michelle. Can I have you call me? Perfect, Michelle, yes. And you know, um, I'm gonna write my, na my number here. It's 801-879-7340. This is Wanda. You can uh, welcome any message. Text me first. 
because I take a lot of um, like video conferencing. So I may be on a video conferencing if you call me, but if you text me and tell me where your name and where you at and push your five star or something so I can picture. But I love, I love helping you, you know, as a PID member, I think I'm part of the whole nation's community. And this is how we reach out to everybody in the nation, Renatus Nation. We are family and we're here to support each other. And I have picked this area of personal development because I noticed for the last three years, well, actually the first two years, because this past third year, this is where I'm really um, start focusing on personal development, is that I, hey, I have the knowledge, I have the skills, but my relationship with money is not there. My relationship even with people is not there. I start to apply the drive system. And this is something as, as well that you can incorporate. Look at your drive. And in the back of the car, look at the things that you like, the things that you don't like. And meet your, at least three of you, well, meet your first two drive, which is for me is a director validator. So I am always have to be kind of validating myself or say, hey, I'm great, you know. Um, but before, in the past, I was expecting people to tell me. But now, no, I'm internal, and I'm like, I know I, I am. So I got my self-esteem higher and everything because I began to do, I began to do all of these routines and all of this um, personal development and get me to the opportunity that when I'm out there, my fears are gone. And it's like Michael was defining fears the other day. I'm ready to rise, you know. Um, I, I just do that because that's, that's what you want to get into the stage where you are so powerful that there's no fear because we are have the best services in the industry for real estate investing. And you don't have to be afraid of saying, I'm representing Renatus. I'm an ICM. And yes, I get paid, but this is what I do for a living. I love it. I love to help people by sharing this education with other people that they can improve their lives because Renatus has changed mine and Renatus has changed so many other lives. So you can incorporate those things into the conversation because you believe it. It's not in your mind anymore. It's in your heart. So when you go out, you know for sure that you can represent Renatus to the best because you have prepared yourself mentally to conquer, to conquer the world in a positive way and share what you have with others. Okay, guys, we are at the top of the hour and I am so excited to uh, be able to do these calls for you and to prepare every week. I'm just, you know, looking for different messages to send. So establish a routine and begin now to do the routine on a daily basis and you see the difference in your life and hit your targets every week. Oh, one more thing that I want to add. At the end of the week, if you haven't hit the target, then you shift and redirect and we, we could talk about this in the next call. Thank you guys. Kelly, back to you. That was an awesome training, Wanda. Thank, Thank you so, so much. You inspire me so much. Thank well, you. everyone, you're welcome. Thanks again for spending your morning with us. And everyone, go out and make it a productive day. Thank you, guys. Good day. Bye, everybody.